So the big news at the moment is we got two dates with a skiff. Tim Burchett, um, he did his thing and he, he locked down two skiff dates, not just one, we got two. This is a big deal at the congressional hearing back in end of July, wasn't it? End of July, yeah, I think, the congressional right. hearing. David Grush in the hearing had a lot of information to give but he could only give it in a skiff. That was that was um, one of the running themes of the whole hearing is um, can't tell you until we get into a skiff. There was a bit of pushback, I believe. Um, Tim yep. Burchett and crew were commenting on the pushback they were getting in trying to get a skiff and it looked somewhat doubtful, mm. but they did it. Now they've got two dates. Um, one date is on November 16th with the ICIG Monheim, is that Thomas right? Monheim, I said yep. he's, and we all we've all heard about him, and he is the guy that's looking into David Grush's allegations, and he's handling mm. his whistleblower complaint. But before November sixteenth, with Monheim, we have uh, October twenty sixth, which, which is just in a couple of days from now, and that uh, skiff is with. The Department of Defence Inspector General, uh, Robert Storch. Um, so I haven't heard too much about Robert Storch. What do we know about Robert Storch and and his role in the Department of Defence? Uh, actually, not a hell of a lot. I have done uh, a little bit of research into him. Obviously, Monheim's been at the forefront with the whole Grush stuff. So, you know, the, the UFO, UAP community do know a bit about him. I've also looked a bit into him. He seems a little bit more uh, friendly to the topic, if you will. Um, Robert Storch, I'm not so sure about. Uh, he used to be the IG down at down at the NSA. I'm not sure how long ago Ross Coulthard tweeted about this, but uh, Ross brought up that um, before Storch became, uh, while he was a nominee for the uh, IG DOD position, um, he'd promised uh, Senator Gillibrand uh, mm -hmm. that he would actually really look into the topic, uh, give it a full investigation. And uh, that was about two years ago. Uh, we haven't heard yeah, anything since. Right. So, uh, he, I know, look, well, the wheels of government turn slowly, but it, it seems like he might be dragging his feet. Um, you read all his bio stuff and he's all about transparency and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, you talk the talk, is he going to walk the walk? This Sounds is, like this NASA. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Look, the, the, the skiff is open to the subcommittee. So whoever was at the hearing, I think, gets to go. I mean, obviously, Tim Burchett's going to be in there. Obviously, Luna's going to be in there. Probably Matt Gates. Um, I'm really hoping uh, Moskowitz can get in there and AOC can get in there. I think if those five people who are reasonably high profile uh, can get in and sort of nail them down on a few topics, it might be it might be OK. It's all about asking the right questions, isn't it? Um, Absolutely. I I think I I assume that Tim Burchett and crew already know to a degree what Robert Storch might know, and mm. so they've just got to get it out of him. Yeah, I think they want confirmation. Um, we've still got these other whistleblowers coming through, so you know how many of those other ones have talked to to mm. either of the IGs and still have their clearance. Tim Burchett and the people. Um, behind arranging the skiff, they would know about the other whistleblowers and what paths they have taken mm. um, in their complaints or you know coming out with the information yep. that they have. So they they're likely aware that some of these firsthand, well, some of these witnesses that want to that want to whistleblow have been to Robert Storch. Yeah. Yeah, and and and, and likely um, Monheim too. I'm a little more hopeful with, for Monheim than I am for Storch, but who knows? So yeah, uh, Robert Storch on October 26 in the skiff, and then November 16th comes around, and it's the ICIG Inspector General Monheim in the skiff with Tim Burchett. Yeah, well, obviously, yeah, he was the one who is who's heard uh, the complaint of David Grush as, as the Inspector General of the intelligence community. Um, 
and he was the one who's labeled it as oh, what's the exact language uh credible and urgent something like mm. that um yep. he was the one who put that label on that's the icig stamp saying that uh yep. so that's why i feel he's probably going to be a little more friendly to the case but also i think it's uh, i didn't get to mention before but i think it's a very good order that they're doing it in um talk to the dod first see what they have to say because they're generally not that forthcoming with information and and as we said before the the, the congressmen and women probably have a good idea of what they're going to be hearing or should be hearing mm. so it's a good i think it's a good order to do the dod first see what they lay on the table and then bring the information and the and the sort of intelligence that you gather from that to the next one which you know hopefully be a little bit, bit more open yeah and if you've got the two the two different inspector generals that might have different positions on mm. transparency and yeah um Absolutely. i guess if robert storch knows that he's going in before monheim and he knows that monheim's going to going to say a lot of things or he he thinks that he's going to re be really transparent with the information mm. that he has it sort of puts pressure on robert storch as well to to cough cough up because yeah and there, that's there why i think be, it's a good order yeah yeah there would be things that monheim knows that robert storch is probably thinking if i yeah. don't come <laughs> clean now i'm going to get contradicted by by the other guy by the other uh, ig yeah so having known that we've got those dates what is the public going to get out of it what what do you think because they're coming in there to talk about classified information mm. is tim burchett going to be able to come out and what's he going to be able to say yeah well that's 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 the very good point um because nothing yeah, whatever they've said in there has got to stay in there but it will give them, I guess, it, this, this was the thing with the Grush, where Grush was always saying about the skiff. And, and I, uh, there were several, there were several Congress people who asked him specifically, do you have names, places, dates, these kind of things? He said, yeah, I've got all that that I can give you in the skiff. So I'm assuming that's the kind of information they're going to get. They're going to get actual names of direct people who are involved. They're going to get actual places where this stuff's going down. Uh, I don't think they'll be able to say anything directly straight away, especially not any of the information that comes out of the skiff. But I think I mentioned this last episode that if if they're armed with knowing exactly where to go, I'm hoping that that core group again, and like I said, I really want this to be bipartisan, uh, can start going to bases. You know, go out to Groom Lake, go out to Elgin, go out to all these different, you know, the field hearings. Out yeah yes that's what i want the field hearings because that's where it's going to be most like and if they could get some press to go with them oh man that would just be the best we're hoping that tim Burchett will be able to come out of this and say we got some really good information we know where to go we're we're going yeah. after them um i think that's the best we can hope for out of out of these meetings right yeah and if we if we find out um i'm hoping to find out exactly who is going to be attending yeah but i'm yeah, sure it'll that, be at least the core group yeah yeah i imagine so yep man i i think if you just had the opportunity to go into that skiff you mm. would just be i mean these people they're on the cusp of the greatest secrets uh to humanity and yeah. that would be pretty exciting in itself i mean you'd just be you'd, you'd yeah, i'd, you, I'd be pretty excited and nervous yeah it's going holy yeah. Holy, holy cow we're going to talk to these guys tomorrow and we're going to get some real information mm. from the truth so yeah we'll just sit and wait and we'll we'll um no doubt we'll be talking about this more as it unfolds yeah well i mean we you know we'll uh we'll obviously fill in some more details after it happens uh on the next episode um yeah and uh, yeah, go from there see what see what we see